Hi everyone, welcome to the video and I'm back. So, I know I was out for a hot minute, uh, three weeks, and I'm sorry, I had to prioritize my training and I had a big horse show in there and we did really well. So the extra time in the gym, in the saddle, really helped us out and we're peaking at the right moment to go to the American Royal and I'm super excited and I just wanted to come on here talk about new products that I've been trying and loving um, have a chat I have on my foundation which is one of the new products I wanted to talk to you about if I could talk so um, it's still in the same line osmosis and this is their CC cream it actually comes out of the tube in a bizarre color and it actually color shifts can you see that in this terrible lighting it color shifts to your own skin tone I know that sounds strange um, but this is amazing I wore this for the horse show so if you sweat in CC cream or any kind of mineral based product if you don't blot or move the makeup it will just dry back down where it was it won't fall off your face it will just dry back down once you're stop sweating don't remember you can't just you can't pat it too much or you'll pat it right off because you're warm and the makeup is loose but once you get unwarm it will just dry back down into your skin this CC cream is amazing it's color correcting that's why it comes out in kind of a strange color so don't be afraid of it and um, it also soft and lifts and has a slight illumination um, but when you pair it with the Osmosis Press Base Powder, the foundation powder, you have, it's matte, big fluffy, and just, I just do this number all over my face with this combination. Of course, I have my color, and this is actually called Neutral, and this one is the same natural medium and this one this color is neutral this is what's working for me and I'm very fair like so fair it's crazy and I know I look cray I have my eyebrows on so I look like mm -hmm. but you don't want to watch me put on my eyebrows but I do have a drugstore dupe as it were for Dior but I mix the two together um, the L'Oreal oh, stylus definer it's a very small tip and so is the Dior it's like using a pen pretty much but since I have no hair up here and I'm just like kind of coloring it in per se the very small guys are really working for me if you have big brow hairs and you're lucky and it's like pfft, brow hair you can get away with just using the brow gel the colored brow gel and you can just comb that through your brows and it will set them in place and give you a nice even tone this one I still use every single day this is the Tarte busy gal brows this is in taupe I always have two of these on hand because I just roll through it so much. Now I have a couple of palettes that I'm really enjoying and they're Too Faced palettes. This one is the Too Faced Chocolate Gold. It's kind of their chocolate line. This palette is amazing this would make a great holiday choices as well 
especially this gold guy right here. I've used it. Ugh, it's amazing. Um, this is the gingerbread palette. I think this is their uh, holiday palette this year. And this has a lot of nice choices as well as I blind you with the light. It has a very small, uh, it's a different tone gold. It's a little darker than in other chocolate palette. And these have lots of options that you could use. And I'm really, really loving these palettes when using them every day. They're working really well. They're performing well. They're wearing well. And my days that were long suddenly got a whole lot longer. Um, I did switch jobs and kind of went back to longer hours, which is fine. And um, so my days get very, very... And my makeup has been holding up. I look the same-ish when I leave at 6.45 in the morning, sometimes 7. Same when I roll in, 6.45, 7 at the end of the day. I'm, I think it's very important if I'm going to take the time to put my face on, wanted to look at a certain level, um, I want it to look blended. I want to look put together. I want to look professional all day long. I don't want at 2 o'clock my face melts off. My eyeshadow gets big holes in it. No thank you. And these palettes have been performing really, really well. I've watched some other reviews on them. And the reviews are coming in great. Um, this is an older palette that they've carried for a while. I did go back in time as it were and watch the reviews on this guy. They were just, they were good. Too Faced is a great company. Um, they do get some bad press, I think. Um, but I don't so much care about that what I care about is how are their products performing on a mature face um, I'm still using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation loving the concealer for a mature face um, that's what I'm wearing right now this is the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer there is a lot of kind of opinions about when you're mature should you have a bright under eye or use the concealer that closely matches your foundation? I think you should do whatever makes you feel great and what makes you feel pretty. That is the key. Me, I like a little bit brighter under eye. It's just because I feel like a mature face can get matted down and dull pretty quick. Um, Unless, unlike if you're 25, I think um, things just wear differently and look differently. So, still loving this. It's in my routine. I use it all the time. Use it on date night. But, you know me and the chemicals. This is chemical free. Good for you. Good for your skin. Good for your body. So, on the daily, I'm wearing what's better for my body. Um, but that doesn't mean I don't want it to perform and pr perform just as well as the stuff with the chemicals. That's exactly what I want. And this is exactly what this does. Now, remember when I last talked to you guys about this brush set? I didn't do a full breakdown video on the brushes, but I really feel like I need to reiterate a few of these brushes in this Jaclyn Hill Morphe brush set. This is the bronzer brush in this set, and this says it is JH02. This is the best thing in makeup going right now. She has brushes in here in the set 
that are duplicates that Morphe already had. Then she has a lot of brushes that she designed and made herself. This being one of them. This bronzer brush is the best thing that's happened to me. It is applying my bronzer more evenly, more smoother. It's less work for me with this brush. I highly recommend it. You can buy these brushes singly. Um, go to morphe.com, look at the Jaclyn Hill brush series. This is JH02, the best bronzer brush on the planet. Loving the foundation brush in there. This is JH03, very good with tapping on. You never want to kind of go like this with your foundation because it moves your pigment around and you want to get what you paid for and you paid for the pigment. So when you're just sparsing the pigment, you don't get as much out of it. Um, here's another a great brush. This is a natural hairbrush in that package and I'm using it to, after my bronzer for my blush and I'll be showing you. Um, and then I'm going to show you one more brush that is to die for. This blending eyeshadow brush is the best brush I've ever laid my hands on as far as eyeshadow is concerned. Um, this is JH30. It is amazing. It looks big and remember I have very small eyes. And this thing just gets it done. Gets in there, disperses the eyeshadow, layers it. You can go back, you can go in, you can blend. You could just go one swipe. This brush is one of the particular brushes that she made. I love it. She's a genius when it comes to pigments and eyeshadow. Her palettes are bar none the best on the planet. That is my opinion. And... These brushes are amazing. So, I'm gonna put on the rest of my face with you guys so you can see, kind of get some ideas of how, what to do, or maybe like holiday, whatever kind of look. And we're just gonna start in. And I'm using the chocolate palette. And we're going in with So Bougie. And I love it, it's kind of, just a matte transition color which means we're just laying it down to kind of get the ball rolling because you can't just lay down one kind of like shadow and get kind of looks that you might look at other people or on Instagram or Facebook and think Ugh, how did she get those eyes? Well, m most of the time, she's probably getting them by layering up her eyeshadow. So you always start with a base, and you just move it around your eyelid. It kind of gets the ball rolling, locks in the rest of the colors. So that was the base color right here. No, it wasn't. It was this base color, so bougie. So, we want to get a little bit more intense. So, let's intensify with Coco Truffle. Tap off your excess and keep your brush really high. This is a new technique. I showed you guys before, but it was quite a while back. And... <clears throat> I didn't use to do my videos like that. I would start way down in the crease, which was fine at the time, but you know, you learn, you evolve, you study, you watch, then you try, you practice, and you see how, if, if it can work for you. And it works, even on my tiny, tiny little eye space. So we've darkened up, we're gonna do, that same old technique because why because it's fast and it really helps cut down that time in the morning now I'm just staring at the palette thinking what do I want to go for let's go for old money 
And I'm just going to use my finger because it is quick. And it is like swap, swap, swap. It's on. Then we're going to blend out with a brush. And I did lay down some concealer for my eyeshadow base. So my eyeshadow did not move around. And when this happens, and say you're just putting on your eyeshadow and you get some fallout, don't panic. Just take a very slightly damp blender, a makeup wipe, and just tap into it and it will just go away. And then when you powder and you finish, it will be good. So, oh, that looks very holiday. And as you can see, it, I've got some fallout because I was being aggressive with my finger applying that shimmery shade. Like I said, don't panic. Just use your wipe or your beauty sponge. And it should be just slightly damp. Like if you can squeeze it and water comes out, too, too much. So now we're going to blend. And we want to blend with very kind of light colors. And we're just blending over the top and making sure our edges aren't there anymore. Over the top looks really cool <sighs> me and my nose I like that so now we're gonna do under eye it goes very quickly with technique we're gonna use the truffle and I'm using a pencil brush from the Jaclyn Hill this is JH 3B an amazing pencil brush then again Morphe makes really good brushes really good and I've started bringing my color all the way around on my lower lash line and now we want to use that sparkly color this is the color old money I hope you guys can see that in this shitty lighting which I constantly eh about so now I want to change my brushes to a flat this is an amazing tool to have in your kit tap into any kind of glitter or shimmer and put it right up against your lash line and don't be afraid to just go in there and go ham it just gives your under eye more dimension and it kind of just gives it that extra something so now we want our pop of color in our brow bone and our inner corner so let's try to use rich girl I don't know how that's gonna look but let's try I'm gonna use this shade oh wow okay that looks like I just grew, drew a, a line up there. It's so pigmented. Wow. I haven't used this one yet. <laughs> this particular shade. I've used this palette, just not this particular shade. Oh, wow. And that was Rich Girl. And it's so hard. This, see, it's got a lot of shift to it. And it kind of looks like a bluish. Not. Mm. Yeah, it's this kind of looks kind of silvery on camera. And it's called Rich Girl. And it is very, um, has a very sheer, shimmery look. So when you apply your brow bone highlight and you think, wow, that's too much, just take a clean brush, any kind of brush that you like, and just go over what you did and it will totally get rid of the lines it will blend everything in and just mellow everything out and I put on inner corner highlight single day of my life why because I have 
strange shaped nose. It's always thicker up here. I have a thicker bottom. This opens up my small eye. Remember to know the dimensions of your face because makeup's all about creating more space. And as we age and we're getting crepey and our eyelids are sagging and we're getting crow's feet, we're creating things to hide or especially let's not accentuate our crepey sagging crow's feet eyeballs that's my take on it and if you guys are with me let me know and I hope you guys are with me because I I just think that looking good and feeling good and being healthy and vibrant and is is a goes a ton of ways for self-confidence having good mental health because you feel good you look good and whether that's no makeup or makeup no hair hair whatever your version is of looking good feeling good i don't wear makeup on sundays so i usually just walk around the house looking like death reborn i'll put on slogs of creams and eye creams and i just let my skin rest and i soak it with organic skincare and i just slather it on throughout the entire day and i don't worry about it I even went out to the store today looking like a hot mess, but that's okay because I earned it. We all earned a makeup free day. I'm going to bronze hourglass, of course, and I'm choosing luminous bronze light. This is the one that looks a little peachy kind of background. And look at this brush and this disbursement. Oh my God. This brush, I can't even. Put it in your hairline, go left, go right, then just swipe across, but don't come way low because it'll cut your forehead dimensions down and you always want your face to be bigger, not smaller. Now, if you have a huge forehead and you don't like the dimensions, swipe across very heavily, contour, bring the close of the space in and you will be like hey that looks great learn to work with the dimensions of your face work with your anatomy and here is a drugstore blush that i have been dying over on the regular this is l'oreal paradise blush this is a pure peach blush and it is called Just Curious. I am digging this peach shade. It has a slight bit of luminosity to it. And I mean to tell you, I am digging it. And I'm going to put it on with this real hair brush that I was talking about. And put it forward. See how much it applies? Don't panic. Put it forward. This bristles are great for blush brush. Put it forward. Learn this new kind of way to kind of get my face looking really, really good. Put too much blush on to begin with. Then I go in with my hourglass. This is a daily, every single morning, I go in with luminous light. Remember, hourglass powders are the best on the planet. I can't stress that enough, especially for mature skin. They're blushes. They're highlights. Now, a lot of people do, younger people especially say their highlight isn't bright enough for them. But for me and my age, I absolutely love it. Um, I usually take a giant brush and go in, but it's in there and I'm not going to get up. So, I'm going to swirl this around and swirl it right over and look how it just dispersed and changed the entire thing of my face. And it gave me a little bit of luminosity. I absolutely can't stress enough. 
putting a little bit of oomph in your cheeks, in your middle. Look what it did for me. Luminous light every single morning. Now I'm going to contour my nose a tiny, not a ton, because I don't want to go all ham, but I'm going to use the same brush. And I learned you can use a big brush or a small brush. We're just giving some contour to the nose. Now you can go in with a more detailed sides brush if you want to get real, really serious. then make sure you give yourself an ending point. Now, don't remember, don't just put your lines on and leave them. You need to blend them in. So I use my powder brush, and I just go over the nose to break up any kind of harsh lines that I had, and it really helps. And now I'm going to put on a little bit of glow and I am using the gingerbread palette for that you can use eyeshadow for anything you want to use it for you don't have to just use it on your eyeballs it's your dollar spread it out so I'm just tapping on and I'm using frostbite me and I'm just using my finger to kind of give myself a different kind of glow on the high points of your cheek start in the middle of the eyeball move outward move outward this stuff this frost me shade right here middle pan in the gingerbread Oh, amazing it's very hard to swatch it's very hard to like put it on your hand and say oh look at the shade it's amazing um, if you guys really want me to do swatches somebody let me know um, and I will I'm just not really I just think it looks better if you say hey uh, let me show you how it goes on the eye let me show you how it performs let me tell you how it's been wearing how it's been working for me now I'm going to put on a small amount of, amount of mascara. Um, this is the Hourglass. This is like a weapon. Um, this mascara is Caution Extreme Lash. I kind of didn't like it at first, to be honest. I was like, hmm, I don't like it. And then I thought, well, it's very expensive. So I'm going to, before I give it away, gift it away, because that's what I do with my makeup that I'm not using or reaching for, I gift it away because what goes around comes around. <laughs> and I make sure I gift anything that's been sitting around in my beauty kind of bucket for too long. Because if I'm not using it, somebody might can get some great use out of it. And if it's just a powder, I'm not super worried about bacterial transfer. Um, but you do, when you're gifting, you do have to be very cautious about contaminated makeup transferring from one person to another. That is so true. And I don't want to downplay that at all. I don't get free makeup. So I don't have any unopened makeup to gift. But if I am not using like an eyeshadow palette, I don't feel like there's a lot of bacterial transfer in an eyeshadow palette. Um, the shimmer shades is the only shades that I use my finger on. So if it's like an entire shimmer palette, of course I probably wouldn't gift it because I would put my finger in every single one of them. But my take on gifting is if I'm not using it, I want to give back. So I do recommend this 
mascara hourglass caution extreme lash I do just say go easy with it um, or maybe you won't like it you just kind of have to go slow and then it gets you there when I slap it on in the morning I wait till later and then kind of go back at it like I tuck it in my purse and I'm like when I'm at work I'm looking for a lippy don't pass out um, when I'm at work I just kind of touch up a little bit no I'm not gonna wear any kind of crazy lip right now just putting on a little bit of lip gloss of course cupcake um, glow skin beauty good lip gloss you can eat this all day won't poison you doesn't have any toxins in it it's amazing lip gloss it wears well no lip gloss will make it through lunch or dinner but this stuff wears very very well also I wanted to just before I sign off touch base about the face master um, I've been zapping away even with my busy schedule what I do is I'll kind of zap if you were my face about three four times a week before my makeup so when I'm having my morning tea I'm bringing out my makeup I get ready right here I don't like standing up in front of the mirror while I get my face on I just like to sit down and be comfortable and get ready for my day and I kind of I zap while I'm drinking some tea and getting my stuff out I do my eyes I do my cheeks my lips I'm sending those electrical pulses to keep my muscles more tone on the face remember aging is about quite a few medical issues which we could talk about but right now we'll just talk about loss of volume that's why our face kind of all falls this way and we get the big V as you can just kind of see that I have one it's not pronounced but it's there I have you know a problem right here especially on my right side but let me tell you the face master is very much producing results um, this is not something you can't just zap your face over you know yes it instantly lifts your muscles but it is like anything it's dedication to a lifestyle dedication to your face your face muscles it's the same as you going lifting weights at the gym me I lift weights here at my house um, heck sometimes I just sit and watch TV and lift weights it's convenient it's easy I have long days so I don't make it to the gym that often I have a lot of equipment in my home that I use on a regular basis so you don't have to go to a gym and you don't have to spend a ton of money to be able to be fit on the regular walk 30 minutes a day it's so important to move just like it's important to move these muscles on your face I believe that it will so affect the way your face ages and how your skin looks draped across um, when you're zapping your lip it's very thick muscled here so it's, you hardly even feel it at all but when you zap here where it's real thin like this is a very thin layer to the bone you feel it it's like mm? does not hurt um, it actually feels good at I zap around 605 in the morning um, no it's 555 550 it feels great it gets rid of the redness in the eye that's there every single morning that I wake up yay it turns your eyes completely clear I did read a lot of studies and um, about these types of machines um, there's one at Sephora priced a lot more expensive 
I believe that one's more closer to 500 The Face Master, if it's not on sale, is $300, I believe. Um, you can always go to Susan Summers' website. That's Susan Summers, S-O-M-M-E-R-S, -M -M -E I believe, dot com. And look at her pricing for the Face Master. Um, it's very much making a difference on my hollow. This... This is what it does when we age. It does one of these numbers. And you get bags. Bags are there for several reasons. Your religion and it also reflects your organ health. <laughs> Believe it or not, the face is a direct reflection of what's going on in the inside of the body. So basically, it all boils down to... Uh, what goes in your mouth? Um, I know I say it over and over and over. So to all the doctors that I listen and study. It all comes down to toxin and toxic burden. Um, it also comes down to why are we aging faster now? It's because of the toxins. We lose our hormones at a quicker rate and younger ages based on toxin consumption. Um, this does not happen outside of our country. Um, you kind of, well I kind of thought we were very advanced in a lot of areas, which we are, but unfortunately, we fall way behind on the chemical saturation. Um, we have so many issues, and it's because of our chemical exposures. In the food that we eat, food dye, remember, this is all affecting how we age. Your genetics only points the way. Just because something is written in your genetic code, this is not my opinion, this is science. This is studied, well studied, I promise you, science. Just because somebody in your family has cancer does not automatically um, mean you're going to have cancer. Is it in your genome? Yes, it is. But that means that you have to be extra cautious about, <coughs> excuse me, your toxic burden. So watch your chemicals in your home. Try to take them down as low as you can. Your laundry soap, your um, glass cleaner, your countertop cleaner, your toilet bowl cleaner your kitchen countertop cleaner, your 409, your Windex, your, oh, I can't even remember all the chemicals I used to use, um, scrubbing bubbles, um, like, there's so many that I used to have and I used on the regular because I didn't know. I just, I didn't know. Did the body and the health of how we maintain our health. So, Again, my home only has vinegar, white vinegar. Um, I pour it in the laundry. I use plant-based laundry soap. It barely even bubbles. You know, what's weird is real soap when you're cleaning, like, I use uh, coconut oil. Remember guys, coconut oil takes off my makeup. There is no foam. It's I don't scrub my face and rip my skin barrier. Everyone's in very much into, as we're aging, scrub your face. Get this Claire Sonic out and buzz, buzz. Um, I'm not saying you can't buzz, but be very diligent about how you're buzzing. You don't want to put micro tears into your skin which interrupts your skin barrier. And as we age we want to avoid as much as you can tearing micro tears into your skin. A good exfoliation can put millions of micro tears into your skin. I don't exfoliate that often maybe a few times a month because I am not going to tear my skin barrier. Um, the skin is has its own music, its own beauty, its own balance. When you're ripping it all away to 
and hence look younger, you're actually doing damage, which hence makes you look older. You can scrub with sand pro products that are natural. Don't be getting crazy though. So that's I think another reason why my skin on my face looks the way that it does because I'm very careful to not rip and make tiny microscopic tears in my skin when I'm removing my makeup when I exfoliate it's not very often because microscopic tears at my age 52 and it creates more drying because we're not producing the same amount of oils that we once did for our face it's another reason stuff is falling this way and our jowls come down is because our collagen levels our oil levels we're not we don't have as much coq10 yes i know it's a long video but it's a good one so, you know, Suzanne carries a monthly prescription box. It's $39.99. I'm going to order it for every three months. So once a quarter, I will be billed $39.99. And a prescription box full of full-size products will come to my house. It gives you a chance to, like, use her eye creams, her charcoal mask her i don't even can't even her hair care products i use her brazilian serum in my hair i can't stress to you enough what a good buy it is every box is guaranteed to be worth 100 i believe 25 dollars and usually they overprice and put more stuff in there like this month's box is worth I believe they said $149 there's also a bottle of D3 in her prescription box at 5,000 units and I take 5,000 D3's every single day of my life without fail that is our immune system it's part of it and we need it so desperately especially as we age so I'm going to order the prescription box. I think um, she also has cleaning supplies on her website. She has cooking oils on her website. The myriad of information that she carries about aging, medical health, how you find a functional doctor, which is a regular MD, but has functional education backed up with his medical license. Um, is beyond pale. It's one of the best websites that I know of for functional medicine. If you want to get your bioidentical hormones, you can find a good doctor. Um, remember how important hormonally balanced as we age. So I'm going to sign off there and it's great to be back. Thanks for being patient with me. Um, I went really hard at the training, lost some more weight, um, feeling really, really strong. My connection with my horse and my sport is at its highest and our last horse show is November 5th and I'm really just pushing to the end of the year. And I am going to maybe making regular videos once again. And I'm excited. So I will keep touching base about the Face Master. And I will keep touching base with products that I think are great for the body, great for the face, and makeup. Because this is my canvas and this is my art. And I love beauty. I think mature women are stunning. You guys have a great evening, and I will see you in the next video.